host Pete, and welcome to episode three of the EmpowerCast iWork series. I recommend if you haven't already watched episodes one and two, you take a look at those. In episode three, we're going to explore the color palettes tab in the Colors Inspector. As we did for episodes one and two, I'm going to use the Pages application in iWork. So I'm going to choose a blank landscape page layout document. And I'm going to make a shape in the middle of the document. I'll choose an oval. And I'll open the Colors Inspector by clicking on the Colors Inspector icon. Today we're going to focus on color palettes. And you select that by clicking on the tab with the icon of the three little swatch palettes. And that'll bring us to the color palettes in the colors, colors inspector. This is one of my favorites. It's a very powerful selection in the colors inspector. Apple ships the palette tab of the colors inspector with four presets. You've got web safe colors, which is basically the 256 colors approved for all browsers. And you've got crayon box, which is really primary colors and variations of primary colors. You've got developer, which is really for developers looking to emulate the interface for the Mac OS. So these are all the colors used by Apple in the Mac OS. Then you've got Apple colors, which are really basically just the primary colors. So selecting my shape and then going to the graphic inspector and clicking on the swatch below the color fill option allows me to edit the color and I can just click on any of the colors here in any of the selections in the palette pull down menu. So what I really like about the palette pull down menu is that you can create your own set which I think is extraordinarily useful for somebody who perhaps has a small business and wants to create a logo like I have with Empower Mac. And the nice thing about the OS 10 Colors Inspector is that it's accessible from most of the applications that you'd likely use on your Mac. So if I'm using pages to create a PDF or a print document, I would then create a palette of colors to use for perhaps an Empower Mac brochure. And then if I wanted to do a keynote presentation, all those colors are then available, the very same colors, over in Keynote, making my logo identity consistent throughout different types of media. So let's look at an example. I'm just going to minimize this shape. And on my desktop, I have a chart that I created of Empower Mac colors. And this is something I just created using Keynote quite a while ago. And we're also going to get a look at the Empower Mac logo from the website. So I'm just going to go to EmpowerMac.com and I'm going to drag the logo and drop it into the canvas over here. So to create a new color palette specifically for Empower Mac, I'm going to come over here to the Colors Inspector and just to the right of the palette pull-down menu is the little gear and under that gear we have a selection for new so I'm going to choose new and you can see here in the Colors Inspector that a new palette has appeared in the pull-down menu and it's unnamed. So the first thing I like to do is pull down that gear and choose rename. So I can give it a proper name. We're going to call that Empower Mac Colors. Great, now I'm ready to get started. So what I'll do to build my Empower Mac Colors palette is I'm going to use another very powerful tool found in the Colors Inspector and that's the Sample Tool. This little magnifying glass shaped tool allows me to go out into the canvas, anywhere in the canvas, 
and sample a color. Once I've sampled that color, I can then save it in several ways. So I'm going to use that magnifying glass and go out and sample my very specific Empower Mac Orange. I click on that and you can see now that that swatch has appeared in the Colors Inspector because I used this sample tool to sample it. Now if I'd like I can just drag that down to my little tray and save that and just know that that's my Empower Mac Orange. But another option is for me to grab that orange and drag it and drop it into the list of colors in the Empower Mac Colors palette. So notice by default it was named Empower Mac Colors and that's because that's what I've renamed the palette. And I've also got this red in here that appeared when I created the Empower Mac Colors but I don't want it in there. It's not my red. So I'm going to use the minus key down below the window. You can see here we can minus out that red color that I don't need by using minus. And the Empower Mac Colors generic name I think needs to be changed to Empower Mac Orange. So I'm just going to double click the name right next to the color swatch. We'll call that Empower Mac Orange. Cool. Now I need the blue. So once again I'll grab my sample tool and go out and sample Empower Mac Blue. And you see now that blue is locked into the Colors Inspector. And I'm going to drag that down and drop it into the palette that I'm creating. Again, it's been assigned a generic name, so I'll double click that and rename it Empower Mac Blue. We'll do the same with Empower Mac Gray. Drag that down in, double click, and let's also do that for Empower Mac Black. Now this is just standard black, but I'm going to put it in the Empower Mac palette just because it rounds out really all the four Empower Mac logo colors. Now the reason I brought the logo from the website onto the canvas is to demonstrate that using the sample tool I can also go and sample that color right from the logo. You don't have to have a chart like I've created here. In fact you could do it with football team colors or high school team colors and create your own palette in the palettes tab of the colors inspector. Now we're in pages now so creating uh, let's say a flyer so maybe I'm, I'm going to create some print documentation for Empower Mac. I can make a box and sort of start laying out my document and I can drag my Empower Mac Orange right from the palette and drop it right on top of my shape to color it the exact orange or blue that I'm looking for. So before we wrap up I really just want to revisit the sample selection tool and the many uses of the sample selection tool. I'm going to open my media browser and just bring a photo from my iPhoto library onto the canvas. And I'm going to use the sample select tool in the colors palette to change the color of this shape. All right, I'll select the swatch and then I'll grab my sample select tool and I can come out here and sample the very same color blue or again come out and sample the yellow and really kind of create a shape or color that's going to match the flavor of a photo or other documentation that I've used. Again my name is Pete from Empower Mac and I want to thank you for joining us. Please subscribe so you can be updated whenever we release a new episode and as always we appreciate your comments. Thank you for tuning in.